So emphasis in art is where you take your elements of art, so your line, shape, color, form, space, value, texture, and you use those things to get the viewer to pay attention to a certain area of your artwork. Here are some examples. All right, we'll use Degas. You can always tell it's a Degas painting because it always has weird ballerinas in it. Uh. So how does Degas use emphasis in this? You can see that everything in this painting is kind of muddy except for the ballerina. The ballerina is emphasized because she's very clearly painted and all the brush strokes and things in the background all seem to be going towards her. So all of the elements of art lead to that ballerina. Here's another, The Last Supper by Da Vinci. You can see that everything, including the perspective, all lead to the figure that's emphasized in the middle. All of the bodies and arms and everything points to the character in the middle. The character in the middle is also slightly bigger than the other figures on the piece. And the figure in the middle is surrounded by a bright white, which emphasizes his head. Are you getting emphasis yet? If not, check out this example you might relate to a little bit better. Comic books! If you look at every comic book cover, every magazine cover, everything on the cover will lead you up to the title. It's designed that way, so you pull it off of the shelf. The point of emphasis is the title. Whether it's Iron Man, Spider-Man, Batman, they all do the same thing. They use emphasis to catch your eye. So remember, emphasis is utilizing line, shape, color, form, space, value, or texture to get your eye to look at a specific part in the artwork.